Hello, everybody. So um, I actually have a lot going on today. Um, I'm also going to be filming today easy chicken enchiladas. It's just another way to make enchiladas. My family probably eats these once a week, so I'm always making enchiladas. But that's not what we're doing today. I'm going to show you how to doctor up a can of store-bought menudo. Uh, I've had several people reach out to me about this over the, the course of this year, and I think it's time to address it. Uh, you know, I, I recently, well, I won't say recently, I did one of my latest menudo recipes um, videos. I did make some, and it was a small pot, and it was pricey. <laughs> it's pricey. So I can see the convenience of buying store-bought, doctoring it up to make it taste better just to get the menudo fix at a budget-friendly price. Um, also, it's convenient if you're cooking for one. You know, you don't want to make a big pot. So anyways, let's do that. Let's doctor up a can of store-bought menudo and uh, see how it tastes. Here we go. Okay, so here is my can of Juanita's menudo or menudito. Now, um, I haven't opened this can yet, but you know, one way to already stretch this is adding more hominy. Uh, if you have like those smaller cans of hominy, like the little 15 ounce cans, it's probably better suited like a ratio for this can of menudo. So I'm only gonna use a little bit if I need to add it. Here's another thing that's going to doctor up your can menudo. Menudo spice mix. This is not an expensive bag of spice mix to, to buy, so that's already budget friendly to buy. And a little bit of Mexican oregano and beef bouillon powder. Or you could use the chicken, but I figure it's beef tripe, so why not go for beef bouillon powder? Now, I'm gonna be using my homemade uh, menudo spice mix. I'll link the recipe video for that below because I typically have a variety of spices and seasonings, so it was easy for me to put this together. But definitely, you know, you can the, you can buy this. This is def if I didn't have my own, I'd be using this. Okay, so let's let's do this. I'm gonna open up the can, put it in the pot, and see what we're working with. Okay, so here's what we're working with. That is a layer of fat on top. You know, fat is flavor, right? So let's just leave that in there. Or you could remove it to make it less fattier, but this is going in my pan. Okay, so there's still menudo at the bottom, and this is like that con congealed part that you always get when, you know, you save menudo. We wanna get all of that out. Okay, let's go back in the pot. There we go. Okay, so already, I mean, the color looks fine. I'm gonna warm this up and bring it to like a gentle simmer, and then I'm gonna taste it. Once you taste it, that's when you're going to doctor it up. Um, you know, because my taste buds might not align with your taste buds, so, this is where, you know, you're going to have to really get creative, taste things, and, you know, that's when you start to doctor it up. Okay, so I want to go over something really quick. Um, our, I already know I don't need to add extra hominy. I think it's pretty good, the ratio that's in the can already. Now, Mexican oregano, the menudo spice mix, and the beef bouillon powder are what I would use to doctor this up, mainly. But my homemade one already has these three things in it. So that's why I'm just gonna use this. But if you don't have homemade, if you're at the store, you're getting a can of menudo, just go ahead and invest a little extra money and buy these things. Uh, in my opinion, that's gonna help you doctor up whatever you're buying from the store. So already, I'm just gonna add like a half cup of water. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of my menudo mix blend, like start with a teaspoon. It already has, you know, it's already seasoned, salted. So once you add the water, essentially that's all you're doing is just adding a little bit more salt. Okay, so I tasted it and I think it needs, um, here I'm gonna add a bay leaf. I'm gonna add some garlic powder, some onion powder. I think it needs it, again, you might think it needs none of those things, but if I'm gonna simmer and doctor things up, you know, I'm pulling out the seasonings and spices. You could also add fresh onion and garlic into this. Um, I am gonna add fresh onion for garnish, but you know, if you wanna simmer it. So I'm gonna let this simmer 
for like 10 to 15 minutes. I really want to get the flavor of that bay leaf in there. Okay, so here's what I'm going to garnish and add to the bowl of menudo when I make it. Some diced onion, uh, lime, and I don't have fresh, but I do have some dried cilantro. So yeah, that's what I'm going to put. And uh, that's what I'm going to put on my bowl of menudo. Okay, so this has been simmering. It's a little over 10 minutes. Um, you know, guys, I'm not going to lie. This smells really good. <laughs> um, I think, you know, I underestimated the power of canned menudo. <laughs> Especially when you, you know, add a little bit more uh, aromatics, doctored up with your seasonings and spices, you know, good stuff. So, I'm going to shut off the heat. And uh, this is done. I'm going to take it over here. And we're going to serve a bowl. Okay, so let's get the bowl close here. And I think two people could eat this. This is like a two-person thing. Uh, or, you know, just if you don't want to share, I want some of the broth. But I, I really think two people. This serves two people. And this can, oops, yeah, don't, don't lose any of that broth. <laughs> and this can that I purchased, the can, it was like... Um, between four to five dollars, not bad, right? So let's add our onion. I like a lot of onion. Okay, squeeze of my lime going in. And let's shake on a little bit of the, there we go. And that's the bowl. Looks good, let's give it a try. So I'm gonna give it a mix. Here we go. Why not, right? The noodle from the can. You can doctor it up and make it taste good. I think it's budget friendly. I think it's convenient, especially when you just don't want to cook over a stove for hours. I mean, why not? So, anyways, I hope this uh, I hope this helped you, and um, I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching. Bye. Mm-hmm.